In Houston Station, go ahead for cargo. Hey, Peggy. Wanted to say great work. Cargo and CG look good. We have no further actions for you. Copy. Thank you. And there you just heard some communication between the capsule communicator on the ground here in Mission Control Houston, or CAPCOM, as he spoke with uh, AX4 Commander Peggy Whitson as they completed some cargo operations. Those operations were completed just a few minutes ago, uh, but they've been completing cargo packing and stowing inside Dragon for the past few days in preparation for today's departure. Again, the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft carrying the Axiom Mission 4 crew lifted off atop a Falcon 9 rocket at 1.31 a.m. Central to 21 a.m. Eastern, Wednesday, June 25th from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And then following a 28-hour journey, the crew docked to the space-facing port of the International Space Station's Harmony Module at 5.31 a.m. Central, 6.31 a.m. Eastern on Thursday, June 26th. Shortly after docking, the Axiom Mission 4 crew was welcomed aboard the space station by the Expedition 73 crew. And Expedition 73 includes NASA astronauts Nicole Ayers, Anne McLean, and Johnny Kim, as well as JAXA or Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Takuya Onishi and Roscosmos cosmonauts Kirill Peskov, Sergei Rizikov, and Alexei Zubritsky. Since their arrival on June 26, the Axiom Mission 4 crew has been busy conducting over 60 different scientific experiments, as well as participating in many outreach events and commercial activities. Unique to Axiom Mission 4, there was a joint collaboration between NASA and the Indian Space Agency for this mission, and the space agencies participated in five joint science investigations, as well as two in-orbit STEM demonstrations during the crew's stay aboard station. And there on your screen, you can see a recap of the Axiom Mission 4 docking to the space station that took place 18 days ago on June 26th. Again, this is one of many checkpoints in the return that will continue all the way up until just before the deorbit burn, and it allows mission managers multiple chances to assess the weather at the splashdown zones and make sure everything is lining up before Dragon departs. Again, we heard not that long ago that the weather continues to look good at the Splashdown Zones for a splashdown tomorrow, July 15th, to continue on our way to undock the Dragon Grace spacecraft. And there on your screen, you're seeing a live look from the International Space Station, the camera pointing towards the hatch of the Dragon spacecraft, and there going into Dragon is... Axiom Mission 4 pilot Shubanshu Shukla. just heard confirmation that all four Axiom Mission 4 crew members have been suited up in preparation for today's departure. And we'll take one final look live at Dragon Grace as we prepare to conclude our hatch close coverage this morning. On your screen there, you can see pilot Shubanshu Shukla. Next to him is Peggy Whitson. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Ground has verified system reconfigurations for hatch closure are complete and nominal. to Peggy is Swabosh Uznanski Vishnevsky, who is talking with Tibor Kapu there on your screen.
Again, the hatch between Dragon and the International Space Station was recently closed at 4.07 a.m. Central, 5.07 a.m. Eastern, with all four Axiom Mission 4 crew members safely inside and getting prepared for their departure from the International Space Station. We will resume coverage with SpaceX and Axiom Space later today at 5.45 a.m. Central, 6.45 a.m. Eastern for a planned undocking at 6.05 a.m. Central, 7.05 a.m. Eastern. We hope that you'll tune in.